friends welcome to my workplace at rana ghat west bengal india this is an intumescent cataract with a very hard nucleus let us observe the management of this case by this time the main incision has been made and this is a side port on the left side of the main incision and this is another side port on the right side of the incision the patient is under peribulbar anesthesia and now i want to stain the anterior capsule of this lens underneath this air bubble and this is trypan blue 0.06 percent dye the dye is applied on all parts of the anterior capsule and now the dye is washed out and then viscoelastic substance is injected into the anterior chamber and this is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose yes methyl cellulose has been injected and the anterior chamber has been filled off by this visco and now capsular axis the anterior capsule is incised and see what happens immediately turbid fluid comes out indicating high intralenticular pressure in such cases i always do a small rexis i call it a mini rexis first and through this small opening some cortical matter is removed to decrease the intralenticular pressure in this way bring the cortex from periphery and then aspirate it yes you can see this is a huge hard brown nucleus so the capsular bag has been decompressed intralenticular pressure has been reduced and the shrew has been tamped and now 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected again before that some more lens matter is being removed now this small rexis has to be converted into an optimum size rexis this is 2 percent spmc again now i take a vana scissor i make a small cut a small nick at around 8 o'clock hold this tag now i go anti clockwise all around and convert this small rexis into an optimum sized one so in this way we can enlarge the mini rexis to an optimum sized rexis since the cataract since the nucleus is very hard i have made a fairly large rexis and now this is what i call submarine jaw some superficial cortical matter is removed now the bevel is turned upward nucleus is pushed little down the tip is buried totally into the substance of the nucleus now i go through the nucleus towards the opposite equator and here it is i divide the nucleus into two heminuclei here i sculpt little deeper and then separate these two heminuclei completely now in this case i am going to 
divide each hemineucleus into three parts. Yes. Now what is there? All these three nuclear fragments are joined near the center. And here I break the center and now I bring each piece of nucleus at the central safe zone, central 3 or 3.5 millimeter zone and emulsify the pieces. Dear colleagues, this hard nuclei is not easy to emulsify. You have to find out some way to manage these cases. Even with femtolaser, it is not easy. With femtolaser, this hardness is little softened, but the pieces still remain joined to each other. And you have to separate the pieces and then emulsify the pieces. In this case, I am using 80% ultrasonic energy in continuous mode. Nucleus sclerosis in this case is about grade 5 plus. And this is the last portion of the nucleus. I have removed the chopper so that leakage from the side put stops. And yes, it stops and antechamber becomes more stable. And this is one piece, it has come, and this is another piece. Yes, so the nucleus and epinucleus has been removed. In this case, the epinucleus was incorporated into the nucleus. And now the cortical cleanup is to be done. There is very little cortex in this case because cortex has become nucleus in this case. Have some fibers were there here and there. And they are being removed. To remove the soft incisional cortical matter, I go through the left side port and remove it. Yes, so cortical cleanup has been done nicely. In this case, a uh, hydrophilic single piece monofocal aspheric intraocular lens has been selected and this is Nespro from Appasami Associates. It's a beautiful lens and Appasami has improved the quality of this lens recently and it's a good lens. No financial interest but I'm very grateful to Appasami Associates and I appreciate the helping attitude of this company. Now the side ports are being hydrated. A bit of moxifloxacin has been injected before this hydration. And now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. That's it. The antechamber is nicely formed. And then the integrity of the wounds are checked. There should not be any leakage from any side. And then the case is concluded. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve the mankind with love, respect, empathy 
compassion and great competence.